بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم my dear vascular colleague another lesson on artificial intelligence and machine learning for doctors and vascular surgeons my name is Dr. Muhammad Omar al Faroo. I'm a consultant a vascular surgeon uh, this is a free course you can just uh, scan the QR code and you will be enrolled free of charge to uh, this course uh, this is lesson number five we all, during our career, go into vascular examinations. And this is very important to prepare well. We usually prepare a study plan ourselves, but now can AI uh, help us to prepare a study plan? Uh, as I have mentioned, there are uh, three, uh, let us say, dominating artificial intelligence free program, which is barred by Google, Binge by Microsoft and uh, ChatGPT by OpenAI. So my question, which one of them is the best in order to prepare a study plan for you to study on? Uh, let us try to answer this question. So uh, which one is the best? Uh, we will see from the replies to this question. I have put a question. Uh, I am a vascular surgeon and I have an FRCS vascular examination after three months. I study five hours per day. Can you make a study plan for me for the next three months until the exam? Mention what to study every day and from which sources. And please use reliable sources. I have formatted uh, this question, which has multiple specification in order to get the correct answer. Let us put the question to the three AI tools and see which one is the best. So let us start our first contender uh, from Google, which is BART. Uh, how you can go uh, to BART, uh, you just uh, go to uh, Google Chrome and you put BART.Google.com and you will get uh, this uh, page and I will here just paste the question uh, and then we're going to see how it will reply to this question. It usually takes maybe 15 to around 20 seconds in order to prepare the answer for this question. Here it is. It mentioned week one, day one, study anatomy, day two, physiology, day three, pathology, and mentioned that it mentioned even the source of book. Anatomy, of course, Gray's textbook of anatomy, clinical examination, vascular surgery, practical handbook, and so on. It mentioned also weeks two, day one until day five. Uh, you can see it calculated the weekend as Saturday and Sunday uh, to be, let us say, resting. But um, I can mention to him including weekends as well. Uh, but it's it's very nice because it mentioned uh, which book you need to study and it mentioned what topic you need to study. And then you have a revision time, you have a, if a relaxation time, and you also uh, give you a little bit of suggestion. Here is even I give you the textbook, the name of the textbook, first page, and you, you can look around it. And if you are a member of uh, Vascular Online Training, you can go to the digital library. All these books are found in the digital library. This is a very nice book, again, regarding endovascular skills. So let us say out of 10, I will give uh, Bart a 7 out of 10 for his uh, reply. Well, let us go to Bart. And Bart, if you open the browser, uh, uh, Internet Explorer, which usually have a technology similar to ChatGPT4, and you press Bart, and this is the uh, logo. And then uh, here we'll put the question. You can see you can put question up to 2,000 words. Uh, this question is uh, around 700 uh, letter. You can put up to 2,000 letter. And uh, here is Bart from Microsoft preparing the answer. Um, well, it mentioned I can definitely help you with that. However, I would like to clarify some things first. Are you preparing for FRC's vascular exam in UK? 
do you uh, have any specific topic that you want to focus in? Yes, I will go to the exam in UK and I need to focus uh, focus on endovascular. Uh, here I've replied, uh, it asked it a bit of question. Um, FRS is Vasquez done inside UK and out in some countries outside UK. Now it mentioned week one, you study aortic aneurysm using carotid peripheral. Week two, aortic dissection, thoracic outlet syndrome. You see here it did not mention which books you read from. Um, uh, again, this is week number four, and then. Uh, you can use the following uh, sources to study. It mentions three sources, uh, the Oxford Handbook of Vascular Surgery and the Society of Vascular Surgery, like European Society of Vascular Surgery, is not actually a book, it's a website. Again, Royal College is not a book, it's a website. So I would give a BARD a 5 out of 10. Now let us go to the last option, which uh, it's a chat GPT. You open a chat GPT and you put your question and uh, you push for a reply. Uh, again, we mentioned take some time, 10 seconds. Here is the foundation for the first month and the distribute week number one. You study uh, vascular anatomy. Uh, and it mentioned uh, rather for the book of vascular and endovascular surgery. And then I will go very slowly on that. Here it is. So this is the foundation first month, first week, second week, third week. Uh, actually, you can see there are more, more details about the topic you need to read about. And uh, month number two, arterial and venous disease. Week number five, you mentioned passive physiology classification, carotid artery disease, peripheral arterial, deep venous disease. The third month, congenital vascular anomaly. You can see even the sequence, what is uh, you start with studying and what is started by the common things and the last month by the rare thing. A study tips which is very nice in the chat GPT, it gives you certain tips. Create a daily study schedule. Uh, so prepare what you're going to study today. Uh, join the online forum. Uh, again, uh, you like to uh, discuss with your colleague. Tend relevant to conferences. Use online resources and mention Bob Med, up to date, authoritative vascular surgery journals. Uh, uh, I would say this is the best out of the three AI system, which is a chat GBT3, and uh, it's very, very useful whenever you go to an exam. Uh, I think uh, get an advice on your study plan from a chat uh, GBT. Uh, so you can see out of these uh, three contender, chat GBT uh, was, uh, was better. Uh, followed by binge, and the least one was uh, BART. Remember, these are a dynamic uh, AI module that are continuously improving. I hope with this quick summary, I have given you a hint how artificial intelligence can help you in vascular surgery. I will go into an exact detailed application using AI out of vascular interest, uh, which is extremely useful. Again, we'll go to how to do programming yourself and how AI can help you in programming and encoding using one of the commonest AI language, which is Python 3.0. I hope uh, this uh, AI lecture is helpful to you, helpful in your study, helpful in your exam, and I wish you all the best.